Hi, in this guided example, we're going to discuss marginal analysis. And so this concept, which we learn in chapter one, is by far the most important concept we're going to learn this semester. It is going to be applied in every chapter from here on out, and it really is the fundamental building block of economic analysis. And so before we get started, let's take a look at some definitions. Marginal cost is the increase in total cost from one additional unit of an activity. And so it's it's how much extra money you have to spend to pursue one additional unit. So let's say a bottled water costs $1 each. Well, if I buy three of them, then the marginal cost of my third bottle is just the extra cost. And so to go from two bottles of water to three, I have to pay one extra dollar. So the marginal cost of that third bottle is just $1. Comparing that to average cost, average cost is the total cost divided by the number of units. And so again, in that previous example, if I bought three bottles of water at $1 each, well then the total cost would be $3. And if I divided that by the number of bottles, which was three, $3 divided by three bottles is an average cost of $1 per bottle. Marginal benefit is just like marginal cost, but it's the idea with benefit. So how much benefit do I get from an activity? And so marginal benefit is the increase in total benefit from one additional unit. Now this is where it kind of diverges from the cost side. And so imagine in the bottle drinking example, if I'm really thirsty, the first bottle of water I drink is going to give me a lot of benefit. And the second bottle I drink is going to get me some benefit, but not as much as the first bottle when I'm really, really thirsty. Um, and if I decide to drink three bottles, the third bottle is going to get me even less. So let's say maybe I get $3 of benefit out of the first bottle, only $2 bottle dollars of benefit from the second, and that last bottle I drink, I'm already kind of, you know, quenched, and so I only get $1 of benefit out of that third bottle. And so the marginal benefit for my third bottle would be just the $1. Now, average benefit, like average cost, is total benefit divided by the number of units. So in the water bottle example, $3 from my first bottle plus 2 from my second and 1 from my third is going to give me a total benefit of $6 divided by 3 bottles. That gives me an average benefit of $2 a bottle. And so that's where the two kind of definitions diverge. The average benefit of my third bottle is $2, but the marginal benefit is just one. And when we make decisions, we need to be careful to compare the marginal costs and marginal benefits, and not the average costs and average benefits. We want to pursue an activity as long as the marginal benefit is greater than or equal to the marginal cost. Again, this is the most important, like the most important concept you will learn this semester is we only pursue activities if the marginal benefit is greater than or equal to the marginal cost. So this next example is going to highlight that. This is going to be about whether or not NASA should expand their space shuttle program. And this is a real life example where a professor by the name of Kostin Banafoot testified in front of Congress that they should definitely expand the space shuttle program from four launches a year to five, because at the current levels of four launches per year, the total cost was $20 billion and the total benefit was $24 billion. And so the average cost at, 20, at four launches was $5 billion per launch, which was $20 billion total cost divided by four. And the average benefit, since we were getting $24 billion of total benefit, worked out to be $6 billion per launch. And so let's just assume that the average benefit was indeed the marginal benefit and that we get $6 billion of benefit for every launch. Let's go ahead and use marginal analysis to see if indeed we should expand the space shuttle program, not use average cost analysis as this professor did in front of Congress, I believe in 1996. So using this average analysis, we can see that the average cost is just the total cost divided by the number of launches. So three divided by one equals three, seven divided by two is three and a half, 12 divided by three is four, and here is kind of the critical one we're looking at, which is $20 billion of total cost divided by four launches gives us this average cost of $5 billion. And so if we actually look at the cost per launch, 
That's what we want to focus on. It doesn't matter how much the average cost is. What matters is how much extra money do we have to pay to get one additional launch. And so that's what the marginal cost tells us. And so here we can see the marginal cost of the first launch is $3 billion. So as we go from 0 to 1, the total cost increases from 0 billion to 3 billion, and that's what gives us this marginal cost value here of 3. As we go from one launch to two, the total cost increases from three billion to seven, and so total cost increases by four billion dollars, and that's our marginal cost calculation there. From two to three, cost increases from seven to 12, that gives us five billion dollar marginal cost here. From three to four, we went from 12 to 20, and so we had an eight billion dollar marginal cost to get that fourth launch, and the launch in question, this fifth launch, which Professor Banifoot testified that no doubt we should take is going to cost us an extra twelve billion dollars and it's only going to give us a benefit of six billion and so since we all know that we only take an activity if the marginal benefit is at least as great as the marginal cost we can see clearly that we should definitely not be taking this fifth launch not only should we not take this fifth launch we should have never even taken the fourth launch and so the appropriate number of launches that we should have taken is three launches because at this level, the marginal cost would have been less than the marginal benefit. And remember, that's how we make decisions. We only take an activity if the marginal benefit is at least as great as the marginal cost. And so the fourth launch and the fifth launch do not satisfy that criteria, so we should have never taken them. And so that highlights why it's so important to focus on marginal costs and benefits rather than average costs and benefits. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the example, and we'll see you out there during the next one.